Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing fabulous today. Big up, big up, big up. So guys, today's video will be a what I eat in a day to feel good, to feel better about myself. So it will be a full day of eating from morning, so breakfast, all the way up till nighttime, what I have for dinner. If you're new here, you're not already subscribed, and we're what, about one minute into the video? Tell me what you're waiting on. Tell me. May I listen? What are you waiting on? Tell me. May I listen? Seriously. Tell me. So guys, go ahead, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up the video, guys, if you like this content, stick around and consider watching other content as well. I personally, all my adult life, I've been on a diet. I've been on a diet. I've lost the weight. It's so unsustainable. I can't keep up with it. Gain back the weight again. Go back again. Go back on another diet. And that cycle has continued that yo-yo diet. And can you relate to what I'm saying? Like, am I the only one? Am I the only one? <laughs> but seriously, I've been on that yo-yo dieting train for basically all my adult life and I'm happy now. Conductor, throw me off the train, please. Conductor, kick me off that train. I don't want to be a part of it no more. So what I'm doing differently now is I'm trying to do more intuitive eating, like really understanding food and what I put into my body and also to create a lifestyle. So I'm not just doing this for a month or 30 days to lose 10 pounds. I'm not doing anything, anything restrictive like that. I just want to enjoy food, enjoy eating not restricting or depriving myself at all and thanks to my husband i'm also working out like three to four times a week and i'm actually enjoying it like i am i am actually enjoying working out guys so that is what i've been doing plus having workout equipment at home helps as well so if i can't go to the gym there is literally no excuse because i have workout equipment here speaking about having workout equipment at home thank you so much to yeasel fitness for sponsoring today's video yeasel did send me over their indoor stationary bike guys and the moment i got it i had my husband assemble it and i was on it almost immediately i'm just obsessed with it it's so small so it doesn't take up a lot of room in the house at all it's like like 5.5 square feet so it doesn't take up a lot of space plus it's i got the white one so it's really cute and it just ties into the decor that's already in the home so whatever your vibe is in your home it will definitely fit in plus i can move it around like it has so many good qualities and features and i've just been loving it i've been using it on days when i don't feel like going to the gym and even sometimes i go to the gym in the morning at night i'm reading i'm just winding down i'm just on it just on it cycling at home so convenient so what i will do let's get into the video let's get into the meals and then you'll see of course my workout so first thing in the morning i like to fill my bottle it's a gallon bottle and i aim to drink that off per day to start off i like to do lemon water in the morning and just to get my lemons to last I freeze them, wash them, cut them in wedges, and put them to freeze. This extends the life of your lemons. And pour my water on that. Because I want to make sure I'm doing the gallon, I pour from my bottle. The next thing I like to do is a cup of tea. I do tea every single morning. I'm Jamaican, so all Jamaican can relate. We love tea, whether it is ginger tea, peppermint tea, but for me personally, it's green tea, and this is just the one I use. It's decaffeinated. Green tea has a lot of health benefits. It has healthy antioxidants, plus it's good for your digestive system. No, I don't do any honey, any sugar, or anything. I just take it just like this, unsweetened. But of course, do what works for you. If you're a coffee drinker, you do your coffee. If you like to sweeten your tea, go ahead and sweeten your tea. It's all about what works for us personally. And But for me, I am able to drink it without sweetening it. I don't think it's bitter or anything like that. You don't want to over seep it, but you do want to seep it for about two minutes just to get all that goodness into the warm water. So now that I've had my teeth, time for me to do my morning workout and I'm wearing my waist trainer from Kim Tour Fitness. That's my waist trainer brand. And again, thank you so much Soul Fitness for sponsoring today's video because I'll be doing my workout on my Soul indoor bike. 
firstly let me go to their app which is their YeSoul sports application the bike does work with Bluetooth technology so I can go in they have customized a program for me that's called my program so I go in daily and do my workouts or you can do free for all riding and select whichever program you're feeling to do it that day it does have this display here where you can put your phone your ipad your tablet and follow along with your trainer i love that the bike is so small you can see i have it in this tiny passageway space here in the home and it works there so well also i can enjoy smooth riding and just follow along with my trainer as i go so the Yee Soul bike is very cool and so so convenient and just perfect to have in the home guys and Yee Soul is giving the big up crew 10% off their order so use the code kim that's k-i-m to get 10% off your order by using the link in the description so go ahead and check that out thank you so much again Yee Soul fitness for sponsoring today's video i'll just dive in and continue doing my workout here you can see that i'm very focused and paying attention to my trainer guys and another feature that i love is how easy the bike is able to move around so once I'm done working out here I will just roll my bike back into a little storage area that I have for it and it has those wheels at the front so you'll just see me pulling the bike and taking it out the way and I'll just move on with my day it's so so convenient and here I go here I go I'm rolling my bike out of here <laughs> So right now I am very hungry, just finished working out, so I need to refuel my body. I'm going to do a green smoothie and I have some kale that I picked up from Walmart, spinach also got in Walmart as well, frozen pineapples is what I'm going to use to give it a sweetness, some ginger, a little bit of flaxseed that I'll add to it, cinnamon and also some turmeric and to this I just will be adding water. Now, taste wise it may not be the most delicious but it's definitely on the healthier side of life and the pineapple does give it that sweetness the ginger give it that zing so it all come together really well then just add the water So this is just a nice alternative to juicing because you're getting in all that fiber you're not throwing away everything everything is going inside my body so if i'm not juicing i just do something like this in the morning just to get all my greens in today i'll be doing oats i'm an oats person so this is just the quaker one minute quick oats i'm going to be using my almond milk and this just to give it some creaminess and this one is the unsweetened one from silk so zero grams of sugar i am not a calorie counter i don't count my calories for the day at all but i do glance at calories just to see what it's made up of so this is 30 calories zero added sugar one gram of protein and then for the oats guys i've been doing one cup of oats but the serving size is actually half cup so i make sure to use my measuring cup these days and just to make sure i'm doing it correct because half cup is 150 calories and these are just the nutritional facts overall without checking any nutritional facts or calories oats overall is really good for us some cinnamon i try to add cinnamon to my oats or smoothies because it increases your metabolism and girl need the metabolism to, to to speed up all right and then i'm also adding my silk yogurt guys so this tastes really good i tried it for the first time the other day when we went grocery shopping and i showed you that i was going to try the dark chocolate it tastes really good giving all the chocolate vibes it's a yogurt alternative so it is dairy free they add cocoa to it it has almond it also has coconut milk 190 calories 16 grams of total sugar in it then some raspberries and some blueberries and i also have two eggs here boiling
So notice the longer the old stay in the water, as you know, it gets swollen. So this look like it may be just filling enough, may not need to do the egg. And I have this bit of yogurt left. I'm going to put it in the fridge. I'm like that. I love leftovers, anything right in the fridge. That's it for breakfast. Very full. All I need now is some water. I'm not going to be doing the eggs because this did it for me. So yeah, I'll see you guys at lunch. Okay guys, so it's lunchtime now. It's almost two o'clock, so it's kind of a later lunch because I have to go cook. But I am doing a shrimp rice bowl. So I have my raw uncooked shrimp, jasmine rice, some black beans. String bean, green beans from yesterday I saved in the fridge because as I'm gonna tell you, I save stuff. And these are just the seasonings I will use. The cilantro lime sauce, which tastes really good. It adds a little buzz to the meal. Tomato, onion, scallion, an avocado. And for the shrimp, I'm going to do like a garlic butter with some lemon juice. So for my black beans, I like to use onion, thyme, scallion, and pimento, and then I season it with some all-purpose seasoning, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and just let it simmer down in the pot with some olive oil. So just a drizzle of the olive oil. Just begin adding in the beans. And I'm just going to start adding in the seasoning so it can all simmer together. Some garlic powder. This is Badia seasoning. Some black pepper and then I can begin working on the shrimp so I'm going to do paprika onion powder garlic powder The Sabadia seafood seasoning tastes really well. Use this on fish. Every little thing tastes really good. So, my like bad. And most of these seasonings don't really have any salt, which is good. So, I can just use as much as I want. And then, this Old Bay seasoning, it has 30% less sodium than their original. So, I'll just add some of this. And I'm just doing some unsalted butter for my shrimp. So I think that's enough butter. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and save it for later. Now with shrimp, you do not want to overcook your shrimp at all because it get rubbery and it just, it just do nice. Right, so we don't want a rubber shrimp two to three minutes on each side, and then that's it. Shrimp is cooked once it starts to get opaque, then you know your shrimp will cook, and it's time to take it out. All right, so the shrimp is cooked. I'll just remove them from the pot and make a little garlic butter sauce with the lemon juice to minced garlic.
not the best not the best So this is a lunch plate. Try make it look nice for you. This is just my shrimp, green beans, tomato, rice, avocado, and green beans. And I'm just going to do some of my sauce. And this is lunch. It tastes really good. Give it a chance. Don't knock it until you try it. A lot of different flavors that work well together in my opinion. And this is going to hold me for a few hours, guys hours so I can get some work done so it's been a couple hours since lunch guys and I'm still not hungry just a bit peckish and not yet ready to prepare dinner so I'm just snacking right now on some frozen pineapples this is the one that I use and earlier I don't think I did show you the Nutritional facts is 80 calories and it's about one cup per serving and those are the facts on it But I promise you I'm showing you everything I eat throughout the day. So I had to include my little snack Hi right guys, so it's dinner time and honestly not very hungry because I did have a heavier meal for my lunch So usually when I go heavy on lunch light on dinner and vice versa I'm just going to do a salad with my boiled eggs that I had from earlier today. My husband is going to do salad with me, but I'm cooking brown stew chicken for him. But I'm just going to do my boiled eggs. So I washed and dried the vegetables. Now I'm just going to chop them up. And our final meal for the day, just a egg salad, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, carrot, two boiled eggs, and I'm going to do this craft zesty Italian dressing. It's only 60 calories per two tablespoons, so not too bad. Okay guys, so that's it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's my first time doing one like this. So comment down below. Let me know what are some of the foods I should be incorporating in my diet. What are some of your go-to foods for just a healthier well-being overall. And yeah, remember to leave a thumbs up on the video. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that red button. Click the subscribe button, please hit the bell so you're notified every time there's a new video. Love you guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.